Hey, my lovely souls, Lizzie the Light Worker here. I'm going to do a pretty easy, straightforward reading for Scorpio seasons, couples and singles. And basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to shuffle the deck around a little bit just so I can get these cards situated a little bit in a shuffle because I am holding the camera with my hand. And I'm just going to make two columns and go down right in front. So I'm going to make two piles. This is going to be couples, advice in your relationships, marriages, partnerships, and this will be for the singles, advice for finding love, things you may need to do for yourself to clear things up and we'll leave these guys right here for pulling. All right, so let's tackle couples first. All right, so we get the Wheel of Fortune. So couples, in this mini spread here, Wheel of Fortune has to do with ups and downs all the ups and downs in your interpersonal relationships love relationships partnerships it has to do with the wheel constantly turning sometimes the wheel turns for the better and sometimes the wheel turns for the worst and it, what it has to do with is your ability to cope in these um, times so if it's a difficult time it's your ability to cope Depending on the severity of the problem or the situation, it's just the ups and downs. It has to do with how much energy you put into either an up or a down. You know, the wheel turns and sometimes it, it forces us to see things that we don't want to see. It projects things that we may not be ready to acknowledge or, or to deal with, but if you're a couple and you're together, that's part of a normal relationship. It's also about balance and uh, how you, you know, use that balance to maintain your committed relationships. So when this card comes up, it could be that you're having some issues uh, or you're having continued issues. Sometimes this card has to do with karma and, um, you know, things that are shoved in our face that, you know, we need to hear or we need to know or we deserve. So there's fairness and balance to it. Sometimes, you know, we get away from ourselves and sometimes we let our ego dictate the way we deal with things. So, like I said, when this is upright comes in, it's about the ups and downs, it's about the turns, it's about fate and destiny. So what lies ahead for your relationship when it comes to this card in aspect with other cards? So the next card is the High Priestess. So something to me would indicate that there's some sort of secrets or shielding going on or some emotional withdrawal. Uh, you know, somebody is in this relationship one partner might feel more emotionally withdrawn than the other. They may be um, just quiet about things and observant about things. They might not be putting forth the necessary emotions that the other partner is seeking. They may feel like they have to sort of do this to maintain their own composure in a relationship if there's arguments going on, so to speak. Um, there is a degree of inner, inner knowing and intuition that this person really does use and they have to sort of navigate with that and put their best effort forward in a very calm way. What normally would be a peaceful person with the wheel in the combination, it, to me, it's you're seeing the shadow side. You could be seeing the shadow side to your lover or your partner or your spouse that you don't see too often. And when that shadow side comes through, when it does, 
sometimes there's more depth to it that you see than you're used to. And it could turn you off ultimately. It could make you feel like you don't really know this person or they don't share enough about themselves. They're very, um, you know, sort of like emotionally um, flat and they're not one to speak up or say the way they truly feel they're just quiet and they just revert to that self that they have to feel protected and then when the death card comes in it's a transition card so if this is a couple's relationship and i'm looking at this and i was reading for a client i would say when the death card comes at the very last part of this there's some sort of transition that needs to happen there's something that will ultimately make or break this couple. They have to think about what they both want in terms of commitment and emotional availability, um, you know, things like that and that nature. It looks like, you know, like I said, if it's not worked out, then it ultimately could be an end or a new chapter, a new development in the relationship that has to come from one or both of these people making a change so really that's 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 the basic knack of this you know it has to there is something here especially with the high priestess and it lines up this way there there has to be some changes or some transitions here okay so now let's get over to singles all right so single people Single people look like they're working on themselves right now. They're working on their selves, strengthening themselves, their, their um, action, their creative force, their creative drive, things that are sort of hurried along. They're working on their self, their, their, their way of, um, you know, getting, getting themselves in a better position predicament or a better place in life they might be working really hard in a career or on something really creative they may be uh, trying to increase their finances they may be a student in school trying to just sort of put everything together so that they have something to bring to the table and with the magician that's ultimately at the end they're manifesting their dreams in this spread here they're manifesting their dreams uh, making what they want to happen happen you know, they've already put a lot of effort into what they are doing. Like I said, if it's with their career or, you know, their their higher education, they're putting the effort there. Uh, ultimately, when they're done doing this self-improvement, they will be an all-star to uh, another person. Like, you know, they'll, they'll, they'll have all these shining qualities and talents and skills and their skill set. And when they meet someone, it'll all just click and they'll feel it and they'll just know when they meet this person. I feel like they could meet someone that's either a laborer, someone that works with their hands, that creates someone that um, works very hard or someone that is a healer or is in the medical field uh, or a sales field, something of that nature. That's what that could indicate. So, I mean, that could be for a man or a woman. Either way, those are the characteristics of this spread. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this little mini reading for Scorpio season, love, relationships, couples, and singles. Please like and subscribe. Leave me some comments, guys. And as always, many, many blessings to you all.